The gangland execution of 20-year-old Joseph Bob is the first murder to be recorded in Belize City on New Year's Day. The well-known street figure was socializing a long way from his Lake Independence neighborhood when he was viciously attacked. Despite an attempt to run for his life, the BLC boss was pursued by an assailant who fired numerous rounds at him. Bob fell dead a short distance away on Blue Marlin Boulevard. The third murder of the year took place in the Old Capital, where police were called sometime after 4 p.m. yesterday to Blue Marley Boulevard in the Buttonwood Bay area, where they saw the lifeless body of Joseph Bob, who is a resident of June Street, Belize City, with multiple gunshot injuries to the body. He was taken to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Bob, the presumed head of the Bacalan Scripts, was a close friend of Diane Finnegan. When she made her foray into electoral politics in 2018, he was instrumental in her campaign leading up to the UDP convention in Lake Independence. The aspiring politician recalls the first time she met Bob through her gang mediation efforts. My first encounter with Joseph was in 2016 when Chester, myself and Nori were doing this intervention to try and bring these gangs together and to create this atmosphere of peace within this nation. And uh, Joseph's mom called Chester and um, she was experiencing some challenging time with him, rebellion and that kind of thing because he's a young man and uh, um, she asked that we do an intervention with him. That session brought the parties together, and Finnegan has kept in touch with the Bob family ever since. So too has Deputy Commissioner of Police Chester Williams. At today's press briefing, the first for 2019, the acting compul told the media that investigators do have an idea of what may have precipitated the New Year's Day hit, but that they assumed motive would not be made public as yet. At this time, we have our theory where this murder is concerned, but we have not been able to confirm so we're not going to reveal a motive at this time but the CIB personnel are on the grounds investigating and uh, trying to see what can be uncovered in order to be able to assist in the solving of this homicide. Last November Finnegan ran against three other candidates to become the standard bearer for the constituency. The move united two rival gangs in the area and for the first time PIV and Bacalans, under the leadership of Joseph Bob, were able to set aside their differences to assist Finnegan with her campaign activities. When I made the decision to run for politics, um, I said I'd call two people that were influential in the area that could advise me and guide me at the same time. Um, based on what they said, then I'd go um, forward or give it all up. Um, so I called Battery from PIV and I called Joseph from Bacalan and instantly, without any questions, um, Joseph, besides agreeing and supporting and pledging his 100% to support me, he said, Miss D, I'm just going to ask you one favor, if you could get together the two sides so that we can work together with you um, because I don't want any problems. And so, for that sake, the feuding groups were able to bury the hatchet. Later that month, they were brought together once again to discuss the progress of their ceasefire. Basically, we keep the peace again and leave it at trust. Then we move forward from there. Yeah, until they make paper, until they make paper, like, you know, I won't worry about beef, you know, I got no time for, like, do not sting, you know what I mean? Well, I think you yeah, benefit your music, most of all. The most thing when they talk about are jobs for the youth, because eh? enough youth out there want to work, but nobody get a chance. But whatever positive things they got, I wouldn't be joined. I wouldn't be getting. I spoke to the two leaders, Battery and, and Joseph, and without hesitation, um, this was again um, based on their request, and both agreed and brought out the guys. Um, at a setting where you'd think that you'd need police protection, look at them, you know. And so this is where it all begins, bringing the community together. And that unity may now be fractured with the shooting death of Bob. 
The Belize Police Department is taking no chances and has since ramped up its efforts at preventing any reprisals in the wake of this gang-related homicide. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.